What a beautiful statue. Hi, Mizuki-san. Their time is up. Okay, go ahead and clean up the room, then count today's cake. Front desk. The faucet's stuck? Well, just use the same bath water for the next customer. Yeah, I know it's dirty. Just use a bath bomb. They're behind the sink. Make it cloudy enough, we'll notice. Ew. Hello, this is Otohime Land. Oh, Nanaha-chan. Hmm. Oh, really? So you're taking the day off. But didn't you have your period two weeks ago? <laughs> too much work. And if your excuses are true, you should get that checked out. I mean, it sounds like a serious medical issue. And if it keeps you out of work, how are you going to pay for your dear old dad's care, huh? Whoa. Seems like your life would be easier if he just died already. But what the fuck? Are you crying? Oh, come on. I only say these things because I'm your boss. Why work I for this be your dude? Too, but come back in as soon as you feel better. Okay? Bye. <sighs> I tell you, girls these days. So, you folks are here about the job we posted, I assume? I guess. Sorry. I don't think I want to be employed here. Yeah, you know, no shit. Fuck this place. Not a fan of anything I just heard. Those pretty girls in the back. You out too, Kasuga? So, you came all the way here just to insult me and my place of business? I'll have you know, Hello Work practically begged me to hire you three. They told me you'd be willing to do anything. I don't care what they told you. We've still got principles. Yeah, I'm grateful that Kanbei put in a good word, but uh, I pass. Plenty of other jobs out there. Let's go, Ichiban. What are what Ichiban's thinking right now? Ichiban, what's the hold up? Come on, let's go. Is he furious at this you worker guy? Than you. Well, I've been to my share of back alley soap plans, but this guy's got to be the worst I've ever seen. The girls don't deserve that kind of treatment. <laughs> oh, we're gonna beat the shit out hey, of him. There a problem? You better not cause any trouble here. I'll call the Yakuza. We're with the Seiryu clan, you know? The Seiryu clan? You really sure you want to start something? <laughs> this is Seiryu clan territory? <clears throat> well, this just got complicated. <sighs> hey, Kasuga, we need a scram. <laughs> no, 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 I'm the hero. I'll call them. I will. Uh, uh... <clears throat> I'll take the job. I'll start anytime you want. Boss. Huh? Wait, wait, what are you doing? Based on what I just heard, you got a lot of issues here, from plumbing to personnel. <sighs> you need a hand, and I've got 16 years of direct experience in this industry. I know what works in these places, and I can even go scout some fresh talent for you. What do you say? Y yeah, but what about those two? <sighs> Prostitution's gotta go! Oh my god, these motherfuckers. It's very interesting that through his anger, Kasuga was going to end up helping this place, because I'm assuming he knows if the girls didn't have a job, right? If they ended up going under, things would end up being very, very difficult for them and everyone involved, right? So, even though this guy's a slime bag, he's like, I wonder if, if he joins, he's like, hopefully he'll be kinder, right? Look at these losers. Uh oh. Well. Listen.
who read up on anti Yakuza's lawns for the fun of it. Those kind of people are tough for even Yakuza to deal with. That's Yakuza for you. So if I can't go to the Yakuza, I can't go to Blaze, who do well, I turn damn. to? Even my employees are quitting to avoid being harassed. I'm at the end of my rope over right. here. Right. So that's you, then, But basically, you're saying as long as the girls stick around, you can still run your business. And said, between Bleach Japan and the way you treat them, I wouldn't count on them sticking around <laughs> forever. You don't get it at all. Girls who come here to work already have their backs against the wall. The girls who work here, all Japanese, but they're in the same situation as an immigrant who came here to get away from whatever it may be. Losing a job like this may as well be deportation. They've got no one to go back to or rely okay. on. I always figured it was the money that brought the girls to this yep. kind of work. Of course, a lot of people will come get tempted to this, to this side of things, because it sounds lucrative. But those are the types who think they'll strike it rich without doing any real work. Soon as things, oh, what a shit, what a shit fuck motherfucker. That's why I only hire them so far in the ledge they can't afford to take another step back. Women like that work like their lives depend on it, and that keeps my business stable. Hey. Say what you will, but lust weighs on the soul as heavy as hunger. It's more so. Except with lust, you can't just satiate it with local deli. You have to hold it until you find an outlet. So as long as a woman will be willing to be on the menu. Men are going to order. Men are going to place orders. That's the world we live in. Sup? Whatever. If we drive the guy off, will you hire us or not? Yo. Shut up. It's work, and I can't afford to turn that down. Really? Take your job. Get it done right now. You want to hire us or not? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bitch. Prostitution is illegal in Japan, yet the established is flaunting it in a broad daylight. Hey. I will say, those are some pretty high prices right there. Working hard as ever, huh? What? I will throw more bombs at you guys. Employees, huh? They must think I'm, we're like some soap land freak. My friends, the accomplices of criminals, the purveyors of prostitutions, have made themselves known. Hmm? I'm sorry, criminals? If that was the case, why aren't we getting arrested? Because soap lands are dodging the loans by registering themselves as public bathhouses. My friends, this is what we call a gray zone. The dark stains on Japan. This isn't a gray zone, though. This is as white as it can be. Yo. What about you? You think you're some kind of pure, clean soul yourself? Never committed a single crime? True. Of course I obey the law. That's the obligation of every righteous citizen. So you never even, like... Taking a whiz outside? That's technically a crime, you know? No. Never once. Not in my life. Uh, seriously? What about speeding? Everyone goes over the speed limit because they were running late. Nope, not a single time. Hey. You liar. It's illegal to even go one kph over the limit. You have done that. Afraid not. If you doubt me, then prove it. Prove I've committed these crimes. Yo. Okay, how about what you're doing right now? All these people are blocking the road have gotten some kind of crime, doesn't it? <laughs> You're so ignorant. It's so funny. Honestly, look at my warrant. I have it right here. Just kidding. It's not a warrant. I lied. We have permits for the Kanakama police for this demonstration. Mm, yeah, permit to march on a public road. Do you get it now? The police have been magnanimous enough to let us use the road for our cause. But where you're standing now isn't technically the road. That's the soap land. <laughs> As he runs back. Tch, I just got a little overzealous. Also, it says here there's only only supposed to be ten of hey. them. I'm no mathematician, but it looks more than that. Let's see, let's count them. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen. 
We just got more supporters than usual today. That's the nature of the protest. The number of people can fluctuate up until the day of. If you don't like it, file a police report. But I wouldn't get your hopes up about coming out. Coming out to do a headcount. The difference between 10 or 15 people isn't worth their time. And it's certainly not causing any trouble. <laughs> <laughs> You're right in the right track, Kasuga. In that case, I got a warning for you. The legal definition of a march means you're not allowed to stop moving. If you stop, and we're just like semantics, semantics uh, of the law with these guys. You're right to use the road, uh, which was predicated on the performing of a march. So the fact that you're uh, you're stopped here is pretty much a clear violation. Even though technically is the rule, every protest stops to give speeches, and the police are fine with so, that. You know what you call that? A gray zone. God. <laughs> We're lying on a gray zone to criticize a gray zone. Man, that's irony. My friends, let's keep going. We're marching. Hmm. Prostitutions, gotta go. No more in each studio. Watch where you're going or you'll trip. We just semantics these guys. Let's see. First, we have Ichiban Kasuga, age 42. Oh. Address is. Oh, isn't this one of uh, Hamako runs? Yes. yes. We're living on the second floor. You know Hamako san? A bit from years ago. Anyway, next is Yu Namba, age 41. Huh? huh? Yu Namba? You mean Namba was your real name this whole time? After that whole speech you gave me about homeless people using fake names. <sighs> Shut up! You believed it was fake, and that's what's important. You're just gullible. What was that? What? Okay, okay, and the last guy is Kochi Adachi, who's... Wait, age 59? Yes. Yeah. Only two months ago until I hit retirement, but the Kanagawa police let me go a few days ago. That's rough. What? Huh? That's all? That's all. No. Hey, that's me. <laughs> I just happen to have the perfect job what? for you three. And that is... Nah. I only get this done every six months. What really is after is her. Her name is Nanawa. She's been on my top earner for five years straight. That's the girl who called to take the day off and blew up at her, right? Yep. Yep, that's right. Mm. She's your top earner, huh? Yeah, you weren't kidding about these girls being on the, uh, never mind. I told you, it's all they've got going for you. It's being cute and young, you'll never last. The core of Soap Plan's appeal is the service of love. It's emotional death that makes it repeat okay. customers. Emotions, huh? I guess I can see that. Men are lonely creatures when it comes to down to it. Even guys who put up with the toughest fronts need a place to be who they really are. And a death of a woman to Billy give him the usual proportion proportionality to her own baggage. None of one's father is of an age where he can't even move on his own anymore. So she quit her job at a big firm and fell into the world to af afford him to the best care. Wow. What? That is an insane leap. Yep. That's why she's good at it. She gives it everything she has, no matter who the customer is. All for the sake of her father. But that being said, she's recently started finding reasons to take days mm. off. This never used to be the case, though. Between Bleach Japan and Nanoa taking days off, sales are really slumping. So that's why I need a hand. A hand? Like on the customers? Uh, listen. Nah. No, you idiot. I want you to look into why she's taking time off. Didn't she say herself it was because of a regular period? I can't take that at face value knowing her. There aren't a lot of reasons why someone who needs money starts taking a lot of time off. Think she's got a side piece? Mm -hmm. You do know the industry, don't you? Care to fill in the class? Yeah. It means she could be meeting someone without going through the store. Normally, customer pays for the service, and the money gets divided up between the girls in the shop. But if they meet in private, the girl can offer a discount, but still come out on top by cutting the shop out. Once they start doing that, the girls start to wonder why they should be at the shop in the first place. Of course, all the shops have strict rules against that kind of thing. Even it's just an instant thing at first. Once they get a taste for the extra crash, it doesn't stop. They'll even start using the shop to lure more customers out into their own business. 
It's the death kneel for some shops. So I want to find out if she's seeing someone on the so side. Okay. Let's see. She's, let's see what she, let's say she is. What do we do if we find the guy? Make sure she never wants to see. Make sure he never wants to go to Nanoa again. I don't care what the methods you use. You're Yakuza, a nurse, and a cop. I'm sure you three can come up with something Hold creative. On. Shouldn't you be using Serio Clan for this type of thing? Think of them like car insurance. If you use them the wrong way, they increase your premiums. So it's cheaper if I could solve the problem myself. <laughs> huh, that's a plus for you. Always has a trick or two. Okay, can you tell us where Nanoa uh, son lives for starters? Actually, it seems like she's been couch surfing for a while and hasn't gone home in quite some hey. time. How the heck do we find her then? If you keep an eye on the pocket cafe, she'll show up. She hangs out there a lot. For the price of a cup of coffee, she can stay for hours to use free Wi-Fi and charge her See phone. You later. So, I hope for the best. Get her to start coming back in regularly and have a su uh, suitable payment for you. Can they question Ichiban why he's taking this other than getting high, getting money? Sounds to me like he hired cheap detectives. Nanilov's quite a schemer. He doesn't seem sloppy, but he knows his employees both on and off the clock. He was doing it on purpose. He's good. Doesn't mean he's not a scumbag. His bottom line's all these cares oh. about. I don't think so, actually. Hmm? Maybe if it's not true all the time, but yeah, most of plans profit off their workers' misfortunes. You mean like their debt or their family issues? They prey on people like that, right? Basically, the women work hard to get out of the situation, and the shop supports them. I'm not cool with the way Naniyama talks about people, but he's not sugarcoating anything either. He understands the reality of the business. Mm. Well, that's one way of putting it. I grew up surrounding by every kind of sleazebag Kamura Joe could throw at those doors. And I bet the guys actually got a lot of love for us girls. I take him any day over some shithead who doesn't care why the girls get jobs there in the first place. Well, just because I hate shitheads doesn't mean I have to like sleaze bags. So let's find the proof and get okay. paid. All right, but we still don't know for sure if she actually seen a guy on the side. Let's start with the cafe she supposedly goes to. All right, so we have a nice little uh, uh a nice little mission to. Do some little detective work for the now, no, 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 Chicken Bell Soul. Oh, don't fight me. Alright. Unlock this for fast travel. There we go. Do a little skimming. Nice, nice, nice. Very cool. Alright, and get ourselves going. Oh, he's over here. Oh shit. Punklings? One guy looked like a cop. Alright, let's take care of these punklings. Actually, we could just turn on a lot. No, actually, no. We shouldn't turn on a lot. Uh, this will get them a lot faster. Let's see. This guy should be able to hit all of them. Boom. There we go. Kill him. Get over here, bitch. Weak. Weak. Sneak attack. Oh. Boy, did that animation look familiar. Cheap plastic, steampunk, and sneak attack. Job level up. Fearless command. Alright. Stop picking your butt, and let's go. Let's see, is she in there? Damn, it's full. Hey, look over there. By herself. That's Nanaha. Let's get some answers out of her. I seriously doubt she'd ever admit to it. 
could only interrogate her after we have proof. I say we trust the former detective on this one. Fine. Sorry, we're full right now. Oh, I'm meeting someone inside. He's sitting down with Nanoha. Maybe she's dating him on the side. Maybe. Let's try an eavesdrop on their conversation. How do we do that? Can't hear anything out here. I got this. Kasuga, call me on your phone. Okay. I'm very sorry, but we're full right now. Oh, please, can I just use the bathroom? Seriously, man, I'm about to piss myself. Uh, sure. Go ahead. Ah, uh, he's gonna place it in the plant. <laughs> sorry you had to come all the way out here. It could be her former boss or something like that. We should get down to it. First of all, the money. He said money. He's got to be her other man. Hold your horses and see the transaction go down. Oh, it sounds like she's being extorted. recording for three hours I don't let my recordings go longer than two because they start fucking up at, at like the two hour mark What the fuck is happening? Is he being shaken? Is she being shaken down? I'm. I can't tell. He's sick, and she's unable to see him. Why did she give him money? That there can't just be like. Nothing to sneeze at. You think Nanoha-san's wrapped up in something bad? Like what? Because I think hospital bills, right? And I could see. I could see oh, that's no. maybe like a debt it's collector, like a loan collector. Hmm. Uh, sorry. Hey, old man. Apologies don't fix much, you know. What the fuck? Make this right. He's got a broken phone. Oh, come on. Sorry, we're in a hurry. You don't got time to do the right thing. Get out your wallet and hand us a couple grand. Leave us alone, man. A yeah. couple grand? Not so fast! Oh boy. Let's do it. Menacing men. The Dine and Dasher. Yes. What the Bye. fuck am I looking at? Come on now. Ornery Yakuza. Yeah. Kill him. Kill him. Cool. 
Don't kick me, bitch. There we go. Okay. Dine and Dash Mishima. Look at that. Burn to death. Yeah, I don't think the girl would want to talk to us after uh, seeing we just did that. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Just burn the man alive go. in front of us? Yeah, no thanks. God damn it. Go. Mmm. Look at that big fucking my love story looking guy. I guess we could just straight up talk to the normal guy. <laughs> We're gonna follow him, and he's gonna go to like some insurance claim place or something, something crazy. Uh, that's what I feel like. Yeah, look at that—a big official building. Mm, we can't get in there unless we have a a scan card. Also, this is more up north, by the way, so I'm assuming we're just uh, unlocking it. Welfare corporation? Sounds like an old folks' home. Pretty classy building, huh? It's from the Meiji era, as I recall. Used to be a bank. But I thought some non-profit foundation bought it decades ago. Sure looks luxurious for a non-profit. I can smell the money from out here. Okay, so we know Nano has been working at the soap land to pay for her dad's care, right? Yeah, so maybe this is where he's being taken care of. And also, maybe that man she met at the cafe is employed here. But then it would all make sense. She's paying that guy to keep her dad in a nice place. It's hardly shady. I don't care how classy the joint is. Nobody would pay two mil in cash. Plus, why would she pay her dad's rent at a cafe? Yeah, that's a good point. Remember what they said when we eavesdropped? She begged to see her dad, and it didn't move him at all. He just said no. Yes, this is the front desk of Sunlight Castle. Uh, is there this a could be also an old person a home? Daughter named Nanoha? Do you mean Nanoha Mukoda? Yes, her father is a resident here. How may I help you? We work with Nanoha at the same place of business. Can we come in? I'm sorry, but only family are allowed to visit. That was predictable. We're not here to see him, actually. The truth is, I'm looking for a home for my own father. Nanoha-san said your facility is great, so... I wanted to check it out. I'm terribly sorry. You can't come inside unless accompanied by a current lessee. Really? Yes. If you wish to explore the layouts of our rooms, please visit our homepage online. You can submit questions on that page as well. It's very convenient. Goodbye. They don't even let you tour a room? Hmm. Something's definitely shady about this place. By the way, I've completely become used to the English VA. When we're not dealing with any Yakuza shit, it's per perfectly fine. Like, dealing with the honorifics, it, it's definitely a little bit uh, out there because it, it's not used in our everyday English life. Yeah, see what I was telling you? We pretty much inadvertently ended up unlocking the area. And these areas are areas you can't go into to begin with, so... Um... Hmm... Return to Otohime. Alright, so we got some B-Boys. See, hopefully I can get in here. All right, skirted them. All right, so we actually found out a lot of stuff here for this specific guy. So, 
some rose blossom? Hmm. Locked. Not yet. Uh, I will say that this guy is a scumbag. Please take one. But I could totally understand why Ichiban ended up stating what's what. A trip to Pound Town. Why is there pussy and cock on there? You got there? Who knows? An app for a sex shop or something. <laughs> Nothing a couple of penniless mooks like us need to worry about. <laughs> Hold the phone. It says the first person to call gets free service. Ooh. But that sounds way too good to be true. They'll find some way to squeeze money out of it. I guarantee. Yeah, well, uh, we won't know until we call. Take it from the guy. A doxy? So Come on, brother. It's a scam. Hey, now, things might have changed while you were locked up. Give it here. No, hold on. First person to call. <laughs> you snooze, you lose. Hello, how can I help you? Yeah, hi. I uh, saw your ad. Said something about the first call to be free. Oh, yes, thank you. You are the very first, so this one is indeed on us. <laughs> All right. And, uh, <clears throat> you're, you're sure it won't cost anything? Nope, nothing at all. Now may I please have your name and current location? Oh, right. It's uh, Koichi Adachi, and right now I'm kind of near Ohama Street. Oh, and that place can be quite dangerous, too. Understood. I'll send over our most popular employee right away. Your most popular? Bro, is this? Wow, you guys really go all out for this first free caller thing, huh? We want you to know how great we are. Now then, we have them en route to your location. Huh? Bro, so what's gonna come beat our ass? Me? Like not a hotel or something? Wait, is this one of those meetup deals? So, how'd it go? <laughs> Yo, some big dude's gonna come. He's like, There's my name's Hanako. I'm named after a dead or alive girl. Oh, really? I swear. Sex shops will do anything to stay competitive. They said she'd be here soon. Oh my Sorry. god. Huh? Oh, bro. It's your boy. Who? Oh, what the? Who the heck are you? Are you, uh, a Doki Sama? Uh, yeah, that's me. Sorry for the wait. I'm Gary Buster Holmes from Pound Mates. <laughs> Pound Mates? Is that, is that a sex shop? <laughs> no, no. Pound Mates sends people to help you fight. Help us fight? Hey, you shitheads are making way too much noise. That's it. I'm gonna shut you guys up. Oh, a handy group of punks. Just in time for your first call. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but let's go, Kasuga. Yeah. Dude, Gary has not aged. Bring it on. This man has been around forever. Yeah. He's a rightful six-year-old man. He's around Kiryu's age, isn't he? <laughs> so this is our summons. Gary Boaster's homecoming. For calling pound mates. Nice. Wow, Gary Buster's so cool. Holy shit! They're too strong. Now, for the finish. Sudden death or suds on breasts? What's it gonna be? <laughs> We're sorry! Your free trial is over. <laughs> Next time will cost money. Looking forward to it. Yeah, sure. Okay then. Goodbye. What a beautiful thing. What the hell 
battle just happened here? Fuck if I know. Man, why's it gotta be so hard to get laid? <laughs> Hound meets, huh? Well, it ain't free, and I'm not sure it's sexy, but I think I can see the appeal. Oh, Gary's on the bag. <laughs> I've never really used Pound Mace, to be completely honest with you, since I'm a cheap bastard, but uh, maybe I should use it more. Mm hmm. Alright, continuing on with the wonderful mission. Let's see. Actually, let's look at Pound Mace really quick. Battle tips. Ba -ba -ba. Let's see here. Is this it? Yeah. Ten grand. Yeah, that, that's the reason why I ended up not doing so, because I was like, yeah, fuck this. Uh, uh, not dealing with that. Not dealing with spending money. Even though you can get filthy rich pretty soon, if I'm not mistaken, so. Alright, let's get our asses in here. Let's tell them what's what. Wow. You charge five million yen just to start a lease? And then it's 500k every month? Even on Soapland wages, how the hell can she afford that? And take a look at this. They've got a program called the Excellent Course. Entry fee 20 million? Then a million a month? What in the actual fuck? Yeah, I hope that's one good VIP room. Don't tell me her dad's enrolled in the excellent course. I can't imagine he is. Oh, <laughs> I could see Nanoha signing him up for the most expensive option. She'd totally do that. Her father is the only family she has. He's the reason she got Now his at tone has changed. He's being endearing. He's How the dare you? She works for me now. He raised her all by himself. He means everything to her. It doesn't surprise me at all that she'd pay any price to keep him comfortable. I mean, I knew she put him somewhere expensive, but this is just crazy. No matter how much you love someone, you've got to set some boundaries. I'm starting to think this was never about a guy she was dating. You wanted us to investigate her because you were worried about her. Am I right? Yes, I was worried. I worry about all my employees. But once they clock out, I can't help them. And I hate that. Especially the girls who have such troubled pasts. You never know if they're doing okay or not. That's why I'm strict about how much time they take off. I worry. Oh my god. So I have a good reason to keep them working so much. But here I thought you were just a huge asshole. I guess you can stop your investigation now. She Big Bubble Galaxy. But if she's doing it for her dad, I really have no right to interfere. It's her life. In any case, I don't think she's seeing anyone on the side. No? I mean, when we saw her today, she looked miserable. She was definitely telling you the truth when she said she wasn't feeling good. My guess is she's suffering from a ton of stress. From work? Oh, I think it's something else. Man, they probably come hard with the collections, huh? Hitamari. Nanoha is her father's guarantor. I'm sure of that. It doesn't make any sense that she wouldn't be allowed to see him. And you guys saw her pay two million to a rep from the home? Maybe that wasn't the entire bill. Maybe Dude, this place is making a shit ton of money, by the way. Like, a fuck ton. pays. Won't let her see her I dad. wonder what the taxes for That's soap ones are. I'm pretty sure it's steep. It might be true. Nationwide, more than one out of every five people is elderly. There are lots of crooked businesses trying to cash in on that. Even if an establishment looks legit on the surface, you never know what might be lurking underneath. I think I know what happened. They accepted her dad, told her she could pay the entry fee in installments, and then once he moved in, they wouldn't let her see him until she paid it off in full. Why pull that shit? Just to get her to pay it off quicker. They don't care what she has to do to earn it. 
They just want their money as soon as possible. That's just so cruel. Plenty of bastards in the world would do it without a second thought. No wonder her health is bad. Who could deal with that kind of pressure? And by taking time off, she'll lose income. She'll end up being late on her payments. Damn, at that rate, she'll never get to see her dad. Nope. And there's another thing that could Dude, happen. and they end up locking the way the family member, too? That's crazy. Depending on what the contract says, if she misses a payment, they could kick her dad out and not return any of her money. After she's been working herself to the bone just to pay them? And honestly, who the hell knows if they're really providing good care in that place? Hardly anyone's allowed inside, so there's no oversight. That sounds to me like they can do whatever they damn well please. Even to the residents who have paid up. I don't understand how they get away with this shit. needs to understand it. All that matters is saving Nanoha's dad. Boss, we can't save him. There's no way. Sure, I would definitely say the whiplash to. right here I mean, on this guy's character changing guy's is breaking my neck. Like, <laughs> the place is pretty much on lockdown. I just don't see a way around that. <laughs> I think I see a way around it. What? Boss, you okay with us working a second job? Uh... The three of us could work at Sunlight Castle for a bit. You want to infiltrate the place by getting jobs there? How do we get them to hire us? Well, we're sort of buddies with that guy Kambe over at Hello Work. Let's get him to help us. Yes! It's a great idea. I'll call Kanbei and make it happen. I think we can do this. We can save Nanoha's father. Hey, what's with this we? You're not going. <laughs> What's with this weed, buddy? 